Gary asked a good question. Jeff, I'm installing a 125 watt flexible solar panel. Those are the solar panels that can actually fit on a curve, super lightweight. They're tenth the weight of a rigid. Uh, I've got lots on my boat. We do lots, both rigid and flexible, but certainly flexible. So he's got 175 watt flexible solar panel. But now he's asking, Jeff, I want to install a breaker switch somewhere between the panel and the controller. Uh, or elsewhere along the path to the batteries. Okay, so let's have a look at what's going on here. So where do you put this breaker, right? Because we know that we want to install the fuse and let's think about where are the fuses on a solar array. So the fuses are right here, right? Right there, or actually right here. So Victron actually has fuses right in the controllers. That fuse is between the controller and the solar panel, and that's right here. And then we also, because I've been repeating, harping on this, we also install a fuse at the battery, from the battery to the controller, right here. But those are to protect the wire from, you know, over amperage in case it ever happens. But what if you want to disconnect your solar array? So what we've been reading, hearing, is that you should never disconnect a solar panel while it's outputting. Because the problem is you might have a voltage spike. And so what we do, and I'm not sure it's an overkill, but you know, as an engineer, I like to take, you know, always with an abundance of caution. So if I'm gonna disconnect my solar panels from my batteries, what I end up doing is I end up covering my solar panels, or I do it in the dark, right? Not in the daytime when it's cloudy, because they're still outputting. I'll put a blanket on top of the solar panels and then that way I know my solar panel is actually not outputting. And if it's not outputting, then I know that when I disconnect the solar panel somewhere in the circuit, I'm not going to have a voltage spike. And so what I end up doing is I cover the panel with some sort of blanket covering that stops the output of the solar panel and then I would flick the breaker switch. I'd probably end up putting the breaker switch um, probably in between the controller and the batteries. Uh, you could, I've seen it between solar panels and the controller, uh, but I would probably not flick that switch unless I actually made sure that the panel was actually not outputting as a way to avoid a voltage spike. So that's a really good question from Gary. Thanks for asking. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, ask them down below or go on our website to fill one of the forms. Also, support to keep this YouTube channel ad-free by donating on PayPal or purchasing some merchandise on our store. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.